for this Valentine's Day. I've decided it's high time I did a design update to my heart gears. Um, many of you may be familiar with these. Um, basically you can twist them around and it's kind of entertaining. This one's a little different than the previous in that it takes a little more twisting to get it actually back to a heart shape. So depending on how much frustration you feel like giving your loved one, you can choose from this or even this version, which requires a full five turns to get back to a heart shape. Um, but uh, the main difference with these hearts compared to the previous is the development of some new snap pins that I find work much better. Um, they look like this now, and it turns out that this shape allows them to fit snugly and securely with a much wider range of printer tolerances than before. Um, and I've noticed from the photos I see online that some people have uh, some difficulty assembling these and, and I know that they're, they're a bit of a puzzle so I figured I would give some directions. Um, I usually start with the center block and I, I plug all the pins in first. That's usually the easiest way. See they just snap in easily now. Um, if you need to pull them out it can be a little bit tough um, but you can just squeeze them with a pair of pliers and pull them right out so that's much easier now than before. And the way I always begin is with one of the small faces and I find the gear that looks the most like this. It's the top of the heart. It has a very distinctive shape here. So I'll snap that piece onto one of these small faces and the first thing is to align when there's, find this single um, tooth that sticks out the farthest on the one side here, you want to align that with this big face over here. Then, you find this, this big gear that's basically the lobe on the side of the heart, and that gear will always fit right in, kind of symmetrically, onto that one tooth. So you snap that one on, and you find that that makes a nice continuous shape here. So you leave them in that position and now you look for the two large kind of flat gears. And what's interesting about these is you know it seems I think um, like they're actually the same as each other but they're really not. They're actually mirror images and so you have to be careful of which one you put where. And what you can kind of look for is they've got this, this little kind of reverse curvature bit here and that part goes more towards the top. So we'll pick this one for now and if we go back to our original model here we can kind of push this thing around and you'll see that it it doesn't actually fit over here anywhere not quite it doesn't really like mesh with any of the teeth um, I mean, it, it'll always mesh with the teeth, but you won't get a continuous outside shape. On the other hand, over here, you can actually kind of arrange it until you find the place where this shape is nice and contiguous. When you snap it in, you'll feel that it's smooth. The other piece, symmetrically, goes onto the other side. And you can always just sort of uh, kind of test fit it first to find the place where it's going to match up and just snap it right in there. Um, you always want to keep the gears in the heart shape in order to figure out how to put it together. Um, once they're all together then of course you're fine. The next piece I put in is the the larger, um, the taller of these small gears and you can see that it sort of goes up on one side and that up part goes towards the top of the heart. That'll snap right in there. And then the next piece I put on is the last large gear, which is the bottom of the heart. You can see it's got this nice point here. And this gear simply fits on with this one, again, nice and symmetrically along the, along the center line there. Okay. And now we're just down to these last two little gears, which again, are tricky because they look like they're the same. 
but really they're mirror images of each other. And it could be a little bit tricky to figure out which one goes where. But again, basically you, you put them in, you put the lowest side towards this big flat gear, and then you kind of, I mean honestly, you usually just have to, to test it out. Um, but you press that in and you can actually feel that it's nice and smooth on all these sides. And that's how you know you've done it right. And if you can feel a bridge, then try swapping them to the other side. And now we're ready. And this is sort of the original heart style um, that just takes a, a single revolution to get back to the start. And I hope you enjoy these, um, and I hope you've got enough time to print them out for Valentine's Day. Thanks.